Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazendary, and today in this video, we have my entire sneaker collection. Let's get into it. guys so today i'm here with mar from sneaker con yes sir so you got a lot of heaters so i mean let's get these joints tagged up as you guys know we are not going to show a single fake pair no that, that's just not what we're going to do we had to get the boys over at sneaker con to come hook it up yes, and a sir. lot of these pairs were actually purchased on sneakercon.com so if you guys want to buy or sell any pairs of sneakers be sure you do it on sneaker con they got the best sellers rate my sneakers are low-key all over the place we got the hype ones in the hype room the ones i wear all the time upstairs in my bedroom so we're going to do a little tour basically we're gonna tour my house the sneakers where they are and why they're there and especially of course talk about how i got some of them my favorite sneakers and hopefully you guys learn a little bit about some sneakers jordans nikes yeezys whatever you came and clicked on this video for i hope you get it be sure you leave a like and subscribe join the blazing fam today strongest sneakerhead community on youtube with that being said let's go ahead and show the collection Mellow got J's, aka Marv. We here at uh, Blazing Dairy's crib. Legit checking shoes is definitely something that you know I really take a lot of pride in. You know, it's definitely a good skill, especially if you're in the sneaker community. So delivering the best authentication service is definitely something we take pride in here at SneakerCon. We always want to ensure that all of our customers are buying the most legit product out there. And we're also going to give you guys a sneak peek at some of the pairs we're selling in the basement as this stuff isn't a part of the collection but as you guys can see there's a ton of sneakers we got a bunch over here and just even more on this side and as you guys can see we got the whole yeezy stack we're gonna start in the bedroom up here because these are the pairs that i have the first option of wearing in the morning if i'm like yo gotta throw on one of the retros or just something like that you guys will see we gotta organize from the jordan ones up top all the way down to the jordan 11 so let's go ahead and start we're gonna start up top so coming out one of the most hype releases of last year we have the air jordan 1 travis scott and the reason why people are obviously going crazy over these is that backwards swoosh it's unlike any other sneaker nike has ever produced that's for sure there's also a little logo in the back as you guys can see and there's just some other hits like a small cactus jack on the inside right there one last detail there's even like a little stash pouch so you guys can fill your mind up with ideas on what you want to put in there right here we have the 2018 shadows i don't actually wear these all too much in the collection i think also they are a little up oh, they're size nine so they will fit i'll be also selling a lot of the pairs that don't fit me anymore on the sneaker con app so you guys can download that like we've talked about a little bit one of the original colorways of the air jordan one that people kind of went crazy over the shadows we got the breads and the royals up next we have a custom pair of off-white air jordan ones so this right here was done by the shoe surgeon he totally blessed me hooked it up they got the custom python on there you guys ask me all the time yo blaze are those fakes they're not fakes they're just custom so that's why they look like this they still go for a lot of money even as a custom because real materials were used like a real jordan one was used in the making of this and they just came out sick the quality is unmatched shout out to the shoe surgeon up next, we got a pair of Air Jordan 1 purples. Now, you guys know me. I love the color purple. But what's special about these is that these came out in 2009. They haven't came out yet. This is a white, as you guys can see, with metallic. So that's an original 1985 colorway. They released a mid-top version. But what's crazy about these is that these are a sample. This is actually a high-top Air Jordan 1 with an Air Jordan mid tongue and a mid Jumpman. So these are super rare. I have the extra laces and the sample tag for which, you know, these are the sample. So you open the little book right here, kind of just tells you these are a sample. Nike cannot warrant this product is fit for use. So these are just super interesting to have in the collection. I paid 400 bucks for them, but that was years ago. I guarantee you now these go for a lot more than they did before. I think it would be crazy if Nike went ahead and released the metallics in their own colorway again. Right here, we have the UNC to Chicago Air Jordan 1s. These were women's colorway. Was able to get them in a size uh, nine and a half in men's by getting an 11 in women's. This right here is a pair that I sort of wear. I, I was wearing them a lot when I first moved to New York, but now I just think the colorway is too hard to match. It's like 3D vibes. So we'll find the right time to wear these, but I'm definitely gonna keep them because I'm from Charlotte. UNC is the college there, the Chapel Hill College. So gotta support the homies. Right here, we have a special pair of Air Jordan 1s. These right here are the Dornbecker. 
kids in the Dornbecker Hospital have the ability to create custom Nike sneakers and Nike basically mass produces them. They give them to their friends and family and every little detail on here is specific to the person that has created the shoe. Every Air Jordan model almost at this point has a Dornbecker model. Coming more into Air Jordan 1s right here, we have the Royals special pair. Once again, I mean, these in particular, I can't even tell you how many times I've worn these. Classic, everybody talks about these as being one of those shoes. It's like a staple. You have to have them in your collection. And I totally agree. I mean, these things came out in 85, 94, 2001, and 2013. And I think again, right? If you don't own these at this point, you should really get on it because the prices are just gonna keep going up. And Jordan 1s, as you guys know, they do go up over time. Then right here, this is a pair that I'm kind of reluctant to get rid of. They don't fit me really anymore like they used to, the Lance Mountain. They're size eight and a half and I just got them to the point where they're like just barely starting to show some of that color underneath So this is an Air Jordan 1 skateboarding shoe This is a Nike SB which stands for skateboarding and they collaborated with Lance Mountain and Air Jordan to provide a all-in-one Exclusive Jordan skating shoe brand new these things can fetch a thousand dollars in price But a lot of the used ones they have like paint chipping and they sort of look destroyed But you can make them look however you want like people customize it to only a blue swoosh only a red swoosh which probably if I get a new pair, that's what I would do. Right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 Blue Moon. So these babies released only as their own colorway. There's no other Blue Moon Air Jordan 1 other than these. So there's not a retro attached to it, just Air Jordan 1 Blue Moon. And I think they're really, really sick. They released a couple other similar colorways with like yellows and greens and oranges. For a non-original Air Jordan 1, this is probably one of the favorites. And on feet, I mean, we're talking about Air Jordan 1. So right here, we have the 1.0. To, uh, 1.0 yes sir and i mean just i love the non-original air jordan colorways like the shattered backboards and stuff all those are they go crazy and the final pair of ones up here in the closet is going to be these unc ones these are a women's colorway so i was able to get them in an 11 women's to make me a nine and a half they're patent leather so that's a feature on the shoe that not a lot of these air jordan ones have patent leather is more so known for the air jordan 11s the navy blue and teal contrast is certainly very different and unique so anytime i'm wearing like navy or a light blue i definitely throw these on all right guys so we're gonna get to the air jordan threes right now so this is gonna be that retro 88 these are an important one because this was when nike was first starting to release shoes again with the nike air and back in like 2013 2014 they were not releasing shoes with nike air they were all jump mans uh, i have an example right here the uh 2012 military four so that's a jump man shoe but as you guys can see nike air on the back of this three and they even started to do the trend again later on when they released these. These were the next shoe that had Nike Air on them, the Air Jordan 4. This came out in 2016, so we jumped a little ahead here. But I want to show you the differences in some of the, the Jordan models, like these Dornbeckers right here. They have a Jumpman because they came out in 2012. I would have loved to see a Dornbecker 3 with that Nike Air on the back. So this right here is another Dornbecker shoe. Like we were talking about earlier, specially designed. These actually released twice, 2013 Retro. So they have a Retro Dornbecker and then the original Dornbecker which came out in 2010, looks exactly the same. I think they, they just had super high demand. Right here, we have a Travis Scott shoe. So this was one of his first sneakers that he debuted. I think this is the first, actually, the Cactus Jack Air Jordan 4. The 4 is one of my favorite models, if not my favorite Air Jordan model. Has a lot of special value to me, which you guys will see in a minute. But this right here is just a beautiful, beautiful teal blue, baby blue almost, Cactus Jack on the back. Unlike any other Nike Air Jordan 4, no other Nike 4 obviously has that, unless the, you know, the purple ones, which go for like 10 grand. Love to find those in the collection someday but i love the speckles on these as well and as you guys already can see sneaker con legit just like every other pair in the collection and it says travis scott on the tongue so another little side detail and another final detail this is icy on the bottom so the more you wear these the more yellow it'll get i don't think a lot of people thought that they, they might have thought you know they were white or something but nope this is an icy bottom right here so try and keep that clean I don't think I've done a very good job, to be honest with you. You guys saw these, the 2016 White Cement 4s. Love, love, love these. Uh, I had the 1999 pair many years ago, and they actually crumbled on me. It was a shame, but I still managed to sell them for like 400 bucks. Thought that was pretty crazy back then. Fire Red, so 2012 Air Jordan. No Nike Air on the back, but these did re-release with a Nike Air. I just happen to love that 2012. Uh, it's sort of like nostalgic for me at this point, because that was when I was getting into Jordans. I was like 10, 11, 12 years old, and that's when these came out. I was 12. And This isn't my original pair, but I certainly 
did that damage to him, I got these brand new. You know, you gotta wear and love your sneakers, guys. Then coming up, we have a very special pair of sneakers, the Air Jordan 4 Military. This was the sneaker that got me into collecting as a whole when I moved to North Carolina. A lot of people were like, yo, yo, those are crazy on your feet, can I buy them? And I didn't know a thing about sneaker reselling, you know, it wasn't something that was in my, uh, in my forte, I guess, but with time slowly, you know, these were like a staple because it got me into the game, it got me into collecting shoes, this was that this was that pair i feel like everybody has that pair and for me it was the military four unfortunately i don't have my original ones anymore but these are like a brand new pair i got a couple years ago and i'm just gonna keep them in the collection and just hold them there forever and right here we have the air jordan 4 dornbecker so this is another special dornbecker colorway this right here is actually a superman theme one so the fact that they got the licensing on that pretty wicked as well as of course you guys see the up and down arrows like a game controller very very cool detail you can kind of see it's like a gray meshes in with the black really nice and the shoes i mean they're just off the wall blue lime green black red yellow i mean these shoes you got to be wearing a lime green outfit in the first place to wear them but i love them these are probably one of my favorite if not top three air jordan fours ever made i would say i would give these maybe spot number two military's number one uh yeah i mean these are just insane and i'm so glad to have them in the collection and then we had to get the Toronto Air Jordan 4s. So these were a special one because they came out with Drake's signature on one of them. And on these, these are just the general release. This is when they came and won the championship just right before it. So it was like sort of like a hype shoe for the Toronto players. Majority of people bought these when they came out. So these are kind of stagnant at like a 275, 300 brand new price. And then here's another special Dornbecker shoe, the Dornbecker Air Jordan 5. These are a special one because unfortunately the creator of the shoe, his name was Isaac, he passed away. And that was one of the only Dornbecker shoes where that has happened. They were even planning on canceling the release, but they ended up going through with it. And it's just a beautiful shoe. I'm very glad that they did. You can even use a black light on them and they have a ton of different inspirational quotes. And here's the date of Isaac. So as you guys can see, 2002, 2012. I haven't worn these too much because I think they're just a priceless pair of shoes to me. As a kid, I always looked at these and was like, man, I can never afford a $1,000 sneaker. Here's the next pair of shoes right here. We have the Air Jordan 5 Bel Air. So this is another shoe that has that Nike Air on the back. But what's interesting about these is that they didn't come with laces at first. So I was able to put the laces in there. And I, I don't know why. I mean, they came out without laces because that's how Will Smith wore them in the show. But most people aren't wearing shoes without laces. Yes, they're tighter than normal shoes. The tongue does a good job of, you know, keeping your feet in place. But as far as that goes, I mean, for looks and aesthetic, I had to throw those laces on there. They just weren't going to be the same without them. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 5 Supreme. So this is a sneaker that came out in 20, 2015. I only have the white colorway because this is the colorway that I like the most and I think it looks very reminiscent of like a white metallic five. It was crazy. The white metallic fives actually came out the same year. So everybody was like clowning them basically like damn like Supreme completely stole the look. I, I very much so remember that. Just on the bottom there's a little box logo but the more you wear them icy bottom gets a little peepee -pee yellow. Right here we have the Bin Air Jordan 5. So this is a crazy one. This is like super premium material supposedly. They had a high retail price they have a little stamp right here which is what you use to mail your letters back in the day you put like a stamp on it and so that's what that is they come with white laces so it completely contrasts the rest of the all black shoe and it looks like it has a metallic five base and here's a special one coming off from the uh, the other grapes these right here are the 1990 originals these are a beautiful pristine pair as you guys can see they're sole swapped which has actually the original nike outsole that nike air on the back you're not going to get that unless you're buying an og or a re-release and the leather quality like there's actual leather on here like this is a real sneaker like this aged very well over time you guys can see that i'm very curious to see how like some of these newer releases are going to age i know the old stuff is definitely held up and uh lastly uh the black grape fives this is another grape colorway i camped out for these didn't get them so i had to pay resale but i had to have these in the collection it's just uh, another one of those nostalgic pairs came out in 2013 and this was one of the first shoes that like broke the trend of jordan releasing a shoe that was a retro only like i remember these the powder blue threes like they were doing some stuff at the time where they were not coming out with just like retros these were new colorways coming down we got the sixes the travis scott six this has a little pouch in it as well so keeping strong with the pouch vibes and it's just a green suede on the top very nice olive and just an icy bottom legend blue 11s these were based off of the columbia's but they're not the same shoe the legend blue is called the legend blue and the columbia is called the columbia which i have i'll show you guys a little later 
Then right here we have the Concord 11. Uh, this is the remastered 45. So they had a 23 when they came out in 2011, but this is to honor Michael Jordan's final year of playing. Right here we have the off-white Prestos. So I got these in black and white. Here we have the off-white blazer. These came out in 2018. These are also released alongside the Hollow's Eve. I managed to sell my pair, but I kept the Grim Reapers. This is a very practical sneaker you can wear all the time. And we have the Air Max 90 off-whites. I don't wear these too much. I'm not a huge fan of the 90, the Air Max 90, but I will say this is the sneaker that if you do like the 90s, consider getting because the quality is very good. Right here, we have the Travis Scott Air Force. This is a shoe that was one of the first ones that you could customize the Nike swooshes from Nike themselves. They gave you a whole plate of swooshes and you could choose which ones you wanted. I went ahead and chose the flame and like the diamond plated swoosh. I think it looks really cool. Also says Travis Scott on the inside. Another one of his first signature line of sneakers from Nike, the Air Force. I think this was the first. They, those were the first and then the force. I think it was these were the first and then the force came out. Right here we have the Air Foam Posit Fighter Jet. This is a shoe I wanted in middle school really bad. And as I got older, I was just able to add it into the collection. I've only worn them one time, so I'm trying to keep this, you know, nice and icy and clean for the future. We have the Supreme Air Force One Highs, the all red colorway right here. World famous on the straps. One of the best Supreme Nike collabs ever in my opinion. We also have the all black colorway. So, you know, the thing with black Air Forces, you guys gotta stay away <laughs> when you see Blazing Air wearing these. There's also a white colorway, but I left those downstairs. And then on the bottom here, we have the Ferris Bueller SBs. These I got a little while ago before the SB hype. These things are going for crazy bread at the moment. And Ferris Bueller is one of my favorite movies of all time. And lastly, for this giant wall of sneakers, we have these Air Force Volts. I've got these on ice. The price just keeps rising. So it makes me want to wear them even less. Got a couple more pairs right here. We have the Strawberry Cough. I made an entire video about these unreleased Nike samples. And you guys can probably guess why they're not releasing because of the uh, the Cough Cough. It's a great shoe with amazing details. You guys can see the seeds, an icy bottom, and just that texture up top. On display, we have the Dior's and the Galaxy Foam Posits. We also have some What The KD5s up here. So this is just a shoe I like to keep in a glass case. And then we have some shoes out here, so let's talk about these. Over here are the shoes that I wear pretty much on a daily basis, depending on if I'm going grocery shopping or if I just have a quick errand to run. Uh, right here we have the Black Cat Air Jordan 4s. We got right here the Air Jordan 4 What The, so this is just a mishmash of all those crazy colorways from the Air Jordan 4. Then right here we have the Off-White Air Forces. These are half size too small, so they're on the fence of do I sell them or do I keep them without the insole? I don't really know, but I love these and I wear them all the time then right here we have the air jordan 4 metallic purple got like maybe two or three pairs of these on ice at this point i absolutely love them then we got some shoes over here i was supposed to wear these for halloween the halloween air maxes so it looks like i'll have to save them for next year this is an air max 95 and what's cool about it is it actually looks like my bmw so it's like teal and purple so i just got that as like an extra shoe i haven't worn them yet but maybe we'll find time to wear them soon. And then over here are some of my designer shoes. So right here we have these Christian Louboutin red bottoms. Uh, they have like black spikes on the top of them. If they're super fancy occasion, I'll bust these out. Next up, we got these Gucci's right here. These are handmade, special. I mean, I wore these to my prom back when I was in high school. Right here we have these Gucci's that look like Converse's with the snake, another great shoe that I, I really wore these so much. I bought, this is my second pair. I've never one time like completely ran through a pair of sneakers, but this was the pair I did. And I don't have the other ones anymore because I had to throw them out. Over here, we got these metallic purple Bapestas that I've been saving for when I got to New York. And right here, rest in peace to Kobe, we have the Kobe 11 KB4, a sneaker that I wore a lot in middle school and high school. Over here, we have some more Kobe's. So these are the Kobe 4 Pro Tro in the Charlotte colorway. Got these when I lived in Charlotte and they came to Charlotte for the All-Star Basketball game. A pair of whiteout foam posits. I wanted these as a kid. Right here, we have a sample Fruity Pebble. So this is, this came out before, but these in particular have one of those sample tags on them. So I love collecting that. And this is just, uh, you know, got a like nice red orange knit on there. Right here, I'm going to be selling these because they don't fit. Air Force 07 Dominican Republic. So these are really crazy one, the De Lo Mios. I wish I could keep these because I love how they look, but they're an eight and a half. So they're not going to fit me. It's a purple and red swoosh. 
with some really nice laces. And they even come with domino lace lock, so that's like another super interesting feature. But unfortunately, that eight and a half is not gonna fit. Then right here, we got these Air Force Ones. These are the remix, the kicks. Uh, this is just a dead stock pair that I think Air Forces have gotten some more hype. I, I kind of called it. I was like, yo, buy DS Air Forces if you see them. And the prices on these, I think I've seen maybe 300 or 400 for a brand new pair. Got these for $50, literally 50 bucks. If you guys watch my videos, they're a great tool. I, I really call out sometimes popular trends. Got some more vintage Air Forces. These don't fit me, so I'm gonna sell them, but they're patent leather. This is the Kobe 9 Low Moonwalker. So the Kobe 9s have like a crazy high top model and a low top. Not only is this the coolest colorway, I think in my opinion, because you know, purple. Moonwalker on the bottom, Michael Jackson. It's also a promo sample. So as you guys can see, that tag right there is that promo sample tag. And right here, we had to get these skeleton Air Forces. Got these last year and I double up good thing i did because they really caught a lot of attention a lot of people like these a lot and my double up at resell which was like 180 at the time already has paid me off because they go for like 350 brand new a really cool pair of shoes i wish i could wear are the stealth fives i know after one wear these things are just going to go toast on me uh they're going to crumble it's that time for those 2006 jordans they no longer are wearable after like 15 years. So the Stealth 5, Nike, please, if you watch this, bring this shoe back. I'm sure a lot of people would say thank you for it. You already know I'm going to hopefully bust these out for Christmas. These are the 2000, I think three maybe, or 2005 Christmas Air Force. So they have like a little silvery metallic hit in there as well as just the red on the back. It's like a suede. We also got another Kobe right here. This is the Kobe 5 ink. My pair is pretty destroyed, but I had to keep them around because I absolutely love the inks. And if I find a clean pair, I'm definitely gonna go in and buy them. We also have in here some Gucci's. So we have these Gucci, uh, I call them the Gucci Johns, basically just the ginormous dad steppers. And we got some more aces in here. So these are the uh, Gucci aces. Uh, a couple different colorways, so this blue dragon right here. I used to wear these a ton, but not as much anymore. We have the Gucci chains. We have the Gucci Air Bethlehem walk on water, so you guys already know the vibes on these. And then we got the Louis Vuittons right here, the boots. I want to wear these a lot more. I'm, I feel like I'm a more sophisticated gentleman now. I feel like we can start busting these out. And just some more Gucci trainers over here. These are really nice pair of aces, actually. A ton of different detail, animal print and things like that on them. But these are the trainers, like I was just saying, they're like a running shoe almost, a Gucci running shoe. The Gucci print on the uh, on the side panels, on that toe box, very nice and they're super comfortable. I have one shelf right here and a little door to Narnia. So we got a lot of pairs in this little closet, but let's talk about some of these over here. So this is like a miscellaneous Adidas and I guess one pair of Nikes. Uh, we have the Adapt Earls, the first ones. These are an auto lacing sneaker. If you press this button right here, they would uh, auto lace, but I haven't charged mine in probably years at this point. They don't really get much love. Uh, this right here is the 750. This is one of the first, I think the first Adidas uh, Kanye shoe that released in 2016. Everybody was clowning these, calling them Ugg shoes and whatnot. They had like a $600 resale price. And then out of nowhere, they went up to like two grand and then they kind of floated back down just because the zippers break, they're uncomfortable, they're hard to wear. Now the Turtle Dove, if you still got a dead stock Turtle Dove, you're in the money. Like these things still go for money. And any Yeezy 1.0 like this, the 350, that you have the Pirate Black, the Moon Rock, a Turtle Dove, keep them in the best condition you can because I don't see Adidas ever restocking these. If they did, that'd be wild. But they've really been focused on their... Uh, uh, their new v2 and uh this is the pirate black 350 colorway they actually released these twice this is a 350 we have the uh it looks like the cloud is this the cloud cloud white yeah the cloud white it looks like a little blue tint right there very nice got some more yeezys right here the time i stepped on crayon i found <laughs> out it was crayon it was crayon not a green mold these are the static non-reflective and these are a custom Louis Vuitton Jasper that I made out of an Adidas wool ultra boost. So I just obviously painted, a, got a like nice little hot pink paint match and the brown cage up here, reflective laces with some silver aglets on them for the Jaspers. I went in on this video, I made it years ago, but still have held up. So I definitely did a good job on the custom. All right, guys, we got the Adidas 1.0. This is a special one with that knitting right here. Anytime people would see this rainbow prime knit, they'd go berserk. This was a shoe that sold out back in the day. Now Adidas ultra boost don't get as much love as they used to but i remember this was like a must have in my collection they even have like a little uh multi-knit uh you know insole this right here is the salt 500 with the orthopedic insole very comfortable shoe i know that but i just can't get behind the look of it that's why i only have one pair uh this is a meme and whoever reacts to this video we have a long-running joke with these i think they're hideous and yes 
I do think they're hideous and I do own them. I own them because I got them for retail and they go for a good price for resale. So if I'm ever feeling like getting some cash one day, I'll go ahead and sell them. And I'll wear them from time to time, you know, uh, you make the trolls angry. <laughs> and lastly, we got the custom Yeezys that I made years and years ago. I mean, Jesus. And then we got a little cave to Narnia right here. So Marv, you wanna pop a squat? I'm gonna do my best to showcase the pairs that are in here. So let me see this camera right here. I'll just kind of maybe do a little tour. So as you guys can see, you can like step through here all the way and get to the other closet. There, there's the other closet right there. Uh, but yeah, let's, 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 uh... all right guys. So first up we have these Air Forces that have a interchangeable swoosh. Tons of different colors that came with them so I could kind of wear them however I'd like to. Right here we have the Raptor 7s, a shoe that really got me into collecting in the game as a whole. Uh, this right here is the Space Jam. We have the 45 on the back, that re-release. Uh, here's the Prom Night Air Jordan 11, a non-original colorway that came out. And then we have the Anniversary 11s. I know I get a lot of love for these because people are like, damn, you got the Anniversary 11s? Like, yep, still got them. Even that yellow, it looks good because they're all white. And we got these custom Goyard uh, Revenge Storms right here from the homie Big A Customs. Just shout out to Big A Custom. We got these SpongeBob Bapestas right here. So just a crazy, crazy shoe in the collection that you don't see very often. And here are those Columbias that I was talking about earlier. So not the Legend Blue. This is called the Columbia. It's got like a yellow uh, on that middle panel right there. Columbia Blue, not Legend Blue. Just beautiful details. I mean, they age so, so nicely. As far as some new releases go, we got these purple grapes right here. The brand new alternate grape. So this is another one of those grape colorways. A shoe that I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and sell are going to be these Nike Air Forces right here. Uh, you know, the Cactus Jack, it's a great shoe. Great shoe nonetheless, but uh, you just can't fit this anymore. An eight and a half. I love the Cactus Jack. I love I love the shoe, how it looks. It's different, but it just doesn't fit. These are the Paul George PlayStations. So a very exclusive PlayStation colorway. With all the PlayStation hype coming out, I should probably bust these out. Right here, we have a Travis Scott one. Keeping these on ice. Yeah, we got some heat in here. This is the low top. I'm not gonna wear them, but I know somebody else will, and they'll pay me a lot for them. Got the all-star LeBrons right here. Got the Hirachi 2K4 Kobe Laser. We also have an autographed pair of the SP Gina. As you guys can see, these are like an all black with sparkle Air Jordan 1. She's actually a school teacher and she was at a sneaker con, so I was able to get the box signed. Right here, we have these off-white dunks in the navy and yellow. Here's the new breads. So we have the 2019 ones, as you guys can see. We have another new bread. This is the Bread 11. And here's a Kobe. There's gonna be a lot of Kobe's. We have the Kobe 6 Hornet. On this side, it's very hard to access these shoes and they're more for long-term storage. So that's the Concord 11. We have the Kobe 7 Barcelona pack. We have the Kobe 7 Invisibility Cloak. We have the Nike Dunk Orange, the Nike Dunk Kentucky Blue, and some Gucci shoes. Can't forget about really everything else here too, but I mean, sheesh, this is such a, such a tight space. It's, I'm surprised it filmed in here. hypey section of my house where you guys can see my hype cube and we're going to talk about the pairs in here briefly you guys have seen most of them but for some of my new viewers out there or if you guys want to learn a little bit about some of this stuff definitely stick with me and make sure you guys leave a like on this video so first up we had the off-white one european this was a euro only release and i was able to get these at SneakerCon in hamburg germany right here we got a pair of the red octobers so a super iconic pair of sneakers that came out kanye's last nike sneaker uh so we have a little double up right here uh, we have the Blazendary Bespoke. This is a pair of sneakers that I got custom from Nike. We were able to get these in its own entire video, paid $1,000 for them, and literally I was able to do whatever I wanted. So I got them embroidered right here, the embroidery up here on the Velcro, of course, to match the plus, plus, plus. There's just a Blazendary Air Force. My shoe, I designed every aspect of it, the double purple lining, the purple, the purple on the inside, which this Air Force liner on the inside that I used is not in Air Forces anymore. This is an original Air Force liner. So I was able to get that. Uh, just some really cool special details to make this sneaker really mine and have it stand out and we even have like a cork insole can you see that so that cork insole right there with the little lightning bolts on the inside that's uh that's a little logo of mine and then over here we have the off-white air jordan 4 sale newly acquired off-whites that i'm gonna get to wearing pretty soon i'm gonna bust them out probably this thanksgiving down here we got the yeezy one so this right here is the peanut butter and jelly you guys already know the yeezy one tan so it's got a little pink up on here on the inside Low brown. It almost reminds me of Patrick Starr and his rock. They really have like a crazy glow in the dark vibe. 
Uh, so if we cut off all the lights right now, like you guys, I think we should real quick. So as you guys can see, they glow like crazy. I mean, the Red Octobers, even the Red Octobers, they glow in the dark. Uh, there's a ton. I mean, literally almost every single Yeezy has like a crazy glow to it. Uh, I mean, wow, these ones right here really pop. Sheesh, <laughs> that's insane. This is a special one because these are a promo sample Zen. What's interesting about them is they didn't release with a little muted orange. Like the release has a, uh, like a lighter orange. It's not as vibrant. This is the promo sample, very vibrant. Hot pink as well up here on the tongue, super, super vibrant. Uh, but this was like a general release promo. So a couple of these like super vibrant and bright pairs got out to the public and they're worth a little bit more than the original ones are. And then the last one that you guys saw, the Blink. This is uh, just a beautiful, beautiful one. I think this is probably my favorite because it emulates the Solars the most, which is the Easy 2 that I'm missing. So the only Easy 2 in the collection I don't have are the Solars. I do have the Plats right here. Probably the top three favorite sneakers of all time right here. This would probably be number two, Military Force being number three, and uh, these are number two. So what's number one, you might ask? Well, that's definitely gonna be over here, my Nike Mags. I mean, I think it might have been pretty obvious, but 2016 was a crazy year when I was able to get these. I was working so hard every day on my YouTube channel, and I I saved up all my money literally to buy these right here. I only paid $3,300. A lot of people think I paid like 15 grand, like no, 3,300. Back in 2016, 2015, these didn't have a lot of hype for whatever reason. So, you know, I was just able to get them for the low. And then we have my Galaxy Roshis up here, my first ever custom sneaker, and some more Nike Mag inspired shoes like these custom Roshis and this Nike Mag Adapt BB. Got some Bapestas down here, just some all white fresh Bapestas. I think these came out a couple years ago. Down here we have another promo sample, the 7-Elevens that never released. I made a whole video about these. You guys can check that out if you're interested. All right guys, on the display shelf with a lot of the Supreme, we have these Chunky Dunkies, freshly legit tagged by my boys at Sneaker Cons. So shout out to Marv, thank you for stopping by bro. Help me out film this video, really appreciate it. Uh, yes, the sir. Ben and Jerry's, I mean, these, you guys can see, they explain themselves, absolutely wild, looks like a cow. Ben and Jerry's logos, and they have insane resale value. Another pair that has insane resale value are these Strange Love SBs. They're actually reselling for like 300 bucks, maybe even 400, and then the price just skyrocketed out of nowhere. Kind of came back down a little bit, but I bought these sort of at the peak of like their, their height. So I'm gonna keep these in the collection for a little bit, probably keep them on ice as well, unless I find a great outfit to wear them with or bust them out on Valentine's Day. And then another SB is gonna be the Travis Scott SB. If you skate this right here, this corduroy material kind of undoes itself and it reveals like an elephant print. So very unique shoe. Each side is just completely different than the other. The Paisley is in like different areas on some of the shoes. Every shoe is unique and it's a different variation. And they even come with like some barrel knot like laces. Like it's very interesting. They're super, um, what's the word for them? Like twill? They're super thick laces. They're very fat shipyard laces almost is what it reminds me of. Uh, like some sailor's knots you can do with these. Right here we have these Nike samples. So as you guys can see, these are one of one look see samples. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to wear these because I only have one shoe of each, a left and a right. If anybody out there has either one, please let me know. Uh, I just think this shoe, I don't know why they didn't release it. It goes absolutely crazy with that inside and everything, the, the icy vinyl. bottom. Vinyl is beautiful. And the cork on this one too, with the red, like what? A, it looks like a Nike bespoke shoe almost, you know? Like you pay a thousand for it, but you get it. You know, I paid 50 bucks on eBay. This right here is a stack of Yeezys that I have. So these are my red October boxes. We're gonna try and keep these, you know, nice as we can. And we'll start off. So we have some white stripe Yeezys. Right here we have these Yak heels, which as you guys can see, I'm not gonna wear them because they go, I don't know, they go a little crazy for me. Right here we have a pair of 500s. This is gonna be the yellows, so the yellow 500s. Then right here, as you guys can see, this is gonna be the Lundmark. Right here we have, of course, I mean another 350, but this is gonna be uh, the Sesame Seed. So yeah, we got some 700s, which ones? Oh, we got the Caterpillar Johns. So these are the mobs. They literally look like a Caterpillar, so I will never call them anything but the Caterpillar Johns. We got the Yeezy Slides, which to my surprise, had some resale value. They literally look like a tank, bro. Right here, we got the Frozen Yellows. This is definitely a great one to have on ice. They're going for around 550 right now. 
Right here we have the cream whites. Definitely another shoe to have great on ice because people pay a lot of money for these in a brand new condition. These right here we have the non-reflective all black 350s. Just I think this is actually probably the best colorway that has come out in a while. It's very simple, muted. You could wear it with anything. It almost looks like a pirate black V2 with how they did that little stitching right there. Very, very nice attention to detail. We got another pair of the Yak heels in a bigger size. Got a pair of 700s right here. We have the salt right here. We got a pair of the static reflectives in a 13. Some zebras, which we're actually going to give away on blazonary.com. So make sure you guys tune into that. And right here, we have another pair of the white stripes. Right here, we have another pair of the frozen yellows. This was my personal pair that I no longer wear. And lastly, we have a pair of the Yeezy butters. I can literally open a store with how many different Yeezys I have, but this is just going to be the stuff that I'm keeping on ice. I'm not going to sell any of these at the moment. Not pressured to. No reason to sell anything that's brand new just yet when I feel like it could hold some more value and grow over time. A lot of these are going to be available on blazonary.com, so we have another pair of cream whites. These will, I will be selling. Uh, some Ultra Boost. These used to go crazy back in the day, but they don't fit me anymore. Got some more Bread 11s. Just some hype right here. Right here, we have the Shatter Backboard 3.0s. This is a 3.0. They made three versions of these things. They should have stopped at one. <laughs> Let's see, we got another one right here. This is going to be the Biohack. I managed to grab a full-size run of these. Got some older shoes in the collection, like the PCL Vans. These used to get a lot of love, but I don't fit them anymore. We got some Hornet SBs right here. And these are some of the ones from the personal collection that I'm going to be letting go. You know, right here we have another pair of those Cloud White 350s. So these were shoes that I moved out of my personal collection and, and I've decided to bring into selling because of whatever reason. We got a DS pair of Travis Scott's right here, so not a worn version. I'm so sad to let these go, but the uh, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, it's a staple shoe for sure, but they're an eight and a half and they do not fit me. We have both colorways of the Supreme Air Force One Mid, so there's a black and white version with all the different basketball teams on there. Right here we have the Air Jordan 5 fear just not a shoe that i wear much anymore it's a little uh there's a lot of olive and green colored shoes now right here we got these zoom flies which i thought would fit me as a you know an eight and a half back then but they were really like a eight i felt like and if i want to wear these now i feel like i need a ten and a half they just run hella small then right here we have the crown jewel lebron tens i mean a beautiful shoe i wore them a couple times but i think it's time i can move on from these and sell them got some more right here so this is going to be the supreme high top this is my black version i have uh two of them actually this is just a pair i'm selling let's see we got a pair of fives right here the top threes selling an extra pair of those we got the fearless i uh, gonna sell my pair of those just got some more yeezys and some uh you know some other pairs in the collection that just you've seen before and i've got some duplicates of that i could sell and let's go ahead and end on some shop heaters so coming up to the store pretty soon on blazonary.com we're gonna have these uh sample metallic chrome lows so i don't know if you guys have ever seen these right here these are beauty and then we have the air jordan 10 orlando magic another brand new pair from 1995 so an og and then right here we have a brand new pair of pure money fours in a size nine and a half i think they're actually not even crumbled so it's pretty impressive and they're pretty firm holy crap might be one of the firmest pairs of ogs i think i've ever had Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It was such a long one, the sneaker collection, but it had to be done. You guys saw about 90% of my collection. I have some in storage. I have some that you guys didn't see just because it was too hard to access within my house. And a lot of the pairs that are reselling, uh, you can buy them on blazonary.com. I don't consider a lot of those in my personal collection, but some of the ones I showed you, you know, they really stood out to me. We got a brand new chain dropping on blazonary.com. So make sure you guys go ahead and peep. It's going to be absolutely insane. The plus 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 chains make sure you guys get it in time before christmas and with that being said we're gonna wrap up this video hope you guys had a lot of fun watching and seeing sort of the history behind my collection how it came to be and what some of my favorite pairs were make sure you let me know in the comments what your favorite pair was down below and i'd love to pick one of you guys maybe to win one of those sneakers so we'll do a little giveaway let's try and get this video to 10 000 likes pretty big like goal but i think we can do it it's your boy blazonary signing out Stay positive and peace out. Make sure you guys watch either video right here. We got the Pokemon channel. We got some New York vlogs. Make your pick. All right, peace.